वेलकम बैक टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ हाउ टू बिकम सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर इन प्रीवियस क्लास ऑफ दिस प्ले लिस्ट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक ट्रबल शूटिंग रिलेटेड टू द डेस्कटॉप आई एम मूविंग अवर सेल्फ टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरी सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर आर सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर बिकॉज इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू अबाउट हाउ वी कैन मैनेज दिस हाउ मीन हाउ वी कैन मैनेज द स्टोरेज सर्विसेज इन अवर डे टू डे एक्टिविटी so let me move ourselves to the desktop screen and guide you about the agenda means what are the content that we are going to cover in case of disk management and after that we'll give you the complete practical information to manage raid system to configure file allocation table i'm talking about the fat file system and we'll also discuss about the other component of storage management like as a san nas difference between san storage and nas storage we'll also discuss about sync and extend dynamic and basic volume so each and every part each and every services related to the storage management we are going to cover so now i'm moving myself to the screen that i can show you the content i hope you guys are able to see my screen so this is another class of how to become system administrator and the agenda of this particular class we are trying to understand about the disk management so in case of disk management you can also say that uh, it's a part of a storage because disk is a particular device and storage is a particular service in this class sorry in entire disk management we are going to start from the very basic like what is a storage this is really important for everyone and after that we'll also discuss about uh, san storage and nas storage the difference between san and nas storage then we'll talk about uh, different types of disk that we have disk type like as a hard drive ssd nvme so we'll talk about the disk type then file allocation table fat file system and after that we'll discuss about the uh, small the basic components of disk management like as a basic disk right and we also need to know about the dynamic disk the gap between basic disk and dynamic disk we'll discuss about uh, shrink and extend volume then another important part we'll also talk about the raid system this is really important for us we also need to know about the concept of raid system redundant array of independent disk multiple types of raid systems are available and it's our responsibility as a system administrator we must need to know about the use cases of each and every raid so let me start from the very basic as per the name suggests if we talk about the what is the storage if any interviewer will ask you question about the storage so it's our responsibility we must need to describe properly about the concept of storage so you can see that the storage is a place or you can say that is the location where we can upload our personal data it is responsible to contain all types of data maybe structured data and unstructured data the storage is applicable to store both types of data like as a unstructured data and the second one is structure data storage if we talk about the unstructured data you know that pdf file document right docs file image file any kind of image file any kind of video file these all data are considered as a unstructured and in case of structured data all database database in the sense all software that help us to manage the database services considered as a uh, structured data for example sql server you are trying to set up your mysql server oracle is also a type of software that help us to uh, store our data in the format of structure so this is the basic part and you can use the storage for the various purpose like as uh, it is used to store data all types of data and second important part it is applicable for the backup right you want to take the backup of any data backup data files or virtual machine snapshot right these all services you can use to store in our storage it will also help us in case of creating replication 
it will help you to establish our disaster recovery so these all are the parts that we are going to manage with the help of storage services so this is the base of storage and two important storage services are available those storage services can help us to understand about how we can manage the storage in any environment i am talking about the sand storage and nas storage so let's try to understand about the gap we have a sand storage and another is nas storage as per the name suggests sand is the storage area network right and the second part is network attached storage right nas is basically considered as a network attached storage our responsibility we need to know about the gap between the san storage and nas storage so let's try to understand about the use cases of san for example this is your office premises and in the office premises you already established multiple server maybe sql server maybe virtual machine network environment any kind of uh, uh, other services that implemented in on premises environment these machines are available and connected with the same centralized device i'm talking about the switch all the machines are connected with centralized device and one storage service that you establish one storage device you establish with capacity of maybe 100 tb the device is also connected with the same network environment and each and every machines contain their own ip address 192.168.1.10 and the another machine also contain the same class based the ip address may be 12 may be 13 right may be 15 like that all the devices which are available in the environment and your storage both are communicating to each other right and uh, our responsibility right our responsibility to utilize this 100 tb of space with all the machines which are connected with the storage service so san storage is also considered as a block based storage right this is also considered as a block based storage the meaning of block based storage like we already decided the capacity of our san storage is approximately 100 tb and you want to distribute the space from your 100 tb of space to all the machines SQL server requested can you please provide me 5 TB another server requested can you please give me 2 TB 1 TB of space 500 GB of space requested by one machine as it is so the space that they requested you are able to map this space in the format of hard drive means if any client requested please provide me 5 TB of space then san storage can map the 5 TB of space to the particular machine in the disk management and you can utilize this 5 tb of space and create multiple format multiple partitions at, as per the requirement but unfortunately this is applicable for the local area network means in the same network environment you are able to utilize the san storage what are the protocols so iscsi and nfs and cisf these protocols are basically used in case of san setup if you are if you want to establish your san environment then these types of storage protocol can help you to implement your storage services i hope you guys are okay to understand about the concept of san storage it is also considered as a block based storage you can say that second important part about nas storage you establish your nas device you establish your storage with same capacity 100 tb of storage you establish in location of delhi head office right you establish your storage in delhi branch multiple other branches are available in different geographical location these all branches are available in different geographical location like one branch you establish in location of pune another branch you establish in location of dubai and one more branch you establish in location of maybe uh, like as mumbai so delhi is our regional office and uh, in the delhi location we establish one storage with capacity of 100 tb and this is also considered as a the nas storage considered as a object based storage right this is consider as a object based storage san consider as a block based storage and nas consider as a object based storage and by using by 
using this particular storage by using this particular storage we are able to distribute space to all the branches with the help of internet right by using internet we are able to assign the space like 10 tb requested by pune 25 tb requested by dubai branch and 10 tb requested by mumbai location so we are able to map the entire space to the particular branch and branch is responsible to distribute this space to their computers their clients their workstation or servers this is the actual gap between sani storage and nas storage let's talk more about uh, the protocol so like as a sani storage yes nas storage also uh, contain uh, also work with the help of some protocols like as uh, smb ntfs sharing and nfs yes because the nfs can perform the both tasks so these protocols are responsible to manage our nas services in the environment i hope you guys are okay with the point that we discussed re related to the nas and san storage so now we completed two different part and i'm moving ourselves to the another important topic let's talk about the disk type disk type in the sense we are talking about the hard drive yes multiple hard drive types are, are available so let me guide you about uh, how many types of disk how many types of hard drive available in the market disk type right in case of disk type it is categorized in two different part one is hdd and another is ssd solid state drive and the another part is hard disk drive in the hard drive we are able to find pata which is parallel advanced technology attachment then sata then skazi scsi three different types of disk you are able to manage in case of hdd and as it is in case of ssd normal ssd and NVMe SSD, which is faster than normal SSD and HDD. NVMe SSD you can use in mostly Mac device if you are using Apple device. So in Apple machine, um, the hard drive available in the format of NVMe. You can also use this drive in case of Windows based computer as well. But you can consider it, uh, it is much faster in compare of uh, normal SSD and uh, our simple hard disk drive, right? So this is about the hard disk information, the disk type, our responsibility. We also need to know about the concept of FAT file system. As for the name suggest, Windows operating system need to use at least one file system to create any kind of partition. If you are trying to set up a partition of any drive, you must need to know about the use cases of fat file system so because it will take time like we need to perform the practical activities so what i'm going to do i'm going to guide you about the work of fat file system in next class try to understand about the concept that we discuss in today's session go through the all points that we discuss we'll connect soon and discuss more about the fat file system for now that's it take care and bye bye do subscribe your own teach me cloud youtube channel Take care guys, bye bye.